Hey everybody, welcome back to Bearded Goblin Gaming. Today we're going to work on uh, chain link fences. Um, you're going to need some of these little dowels you can get uh, where you can find all the little craft sticks. I think I found these ones at Michael's. Um, they come in two different lengths, uh, six inch and I think three inch lengths. The three inch ones are just a little bit smaller or skinnier I guess. Uh, I like to use the fiberglass uh, screen repair for your screen doors. Uh, you can get this in huge rolls and you're probably never going to have to buy anything again for fencing. Um, another thing I like to do, usually for the feet, is I take a little piece of plastic card and I have one of these hole punches and just line yourself up. Cut yourself out a couple feet real quick. We're just going to make one section today. So we can set those aside. Now we're going to go with uh, I guess this is a 5 inch. We can do a full 5 inch. So we'll cut this one down. It looks like it's a little longer. Okay, one six inch. I must have cut an inch off there. So we'll just go with a 5 inch anyway. And just set your blade on there. Just roll it a little bit. Tip comes right off. So what I usually like to do is I'll take my mini here. We got my sniper. And she is just over an inch tall. So we'll make this one. We'll make the uprights an inch long. It'll make it a slightly taller fence so we're going to need one on each end and then I would say a third and a third cut it into thirds one. two that was a little short and throw it in the keeper bin Okay, so there's our sticks. So to start, grab yourself a piece of paper or something that you're not gonna, you don't care about getting super glue on. Lay your sticks out. Grab some of these barrels from last time. Keep everything from rolling away. Always when I'm filming, nothing works. Now, why is that one so long? Suppose you can do this one side at a time. Might even start with some super glue, mate, or uh, some hot glue, just to get them started. But with the paper here now, uh, if your super glue goes through, you'd be able to just cut it away with a knife. Just work. Pick out about a third. It's not perfect, it's not the end of the world. 
any extra or overhang you can always just snip that off at the end okay so well that's setting up just a little bit Gonna slide it out of the way grab our screen here you want to go out a diagonal so it looks like an actual screen fence and we were at five inches so one two three four five knife this stuff will cover scissors or anything it's nice and soft and we are just over an inch and then we'll be able to snip any excess off Get that out of the way bring our fence back over just lay it down on top put your barrels and gaps here. I should have went a little thicker. Oh, come on. Mm -hmm. It's going to be one of those days. There. Now stay. Super glue. Just kind of run it along the edges. In the middle. Let that set up. Just move it out of the way. set up on the side and dry. Here we've got a couple of smaller ones that I've already got built. These ones are just little three inch sections. You can see they're about three quarters, a little over three quarters of an inch high. So then you just take your super glue again, take your little clear. And actually I had two of these built. I was going to do a corner so we'll do that. Grab a piece of plastic again. Mm -hmm. Cut out one more circle. Now we're going to do put some super glue on this corner. sets up fairly quick on these little pieces of plastic and on your fingers so we got that there now with the glue at the bottom just to reinforce it what I like to do is just take my little thing of dirt here Sprinkle it on there. Seriously? Can't believe I just did that. And that's what happens when you don't pay attention. So 
We'll let that sit in the back and dry. <clears throat> Some of my other ones. So this one you can see I started with just a piece of card for the stand up. This one it's dry there. And I don't have a good silver. I like to do everything with pretty cheap paints. This paint here is really thin. Uh, so all I was going to do is I picked up just a flat gray. And that should look just fine. Just going to grab a brush. I don't know if that's going to pick up on camera. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. But with this, if you want, you know, you can always uh, make some toilet paper tarps or anything like that to hang off the sides. With these, you'll be able to set them up. They'll overlap just fine, and there isn't any buildup here. So it works pretty good. You can just kind of throw your garbage bags out. Maybe a pop machine or two. And there you go. Uh, if you like this video, uh, uh, go ahead and leave a like, uh, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.